All right, welcome back, survivors. This is Trombadon here. We're here with Wilfredo. We're going to run uh, Wilfredo through to the winter here, and uh, you're free to hang out with us, follow around, see where the day takes us, or if you want, scrub along the search bar, sorry, the progress bar at the bottom of this video, and you can see what topics we're going to hit today. Right now, though, we've got a problem already. Do you hear that? Do you hear the banging on the window? Someone wants to get in. Let's uh, let's open the curtains here. We're we're here for the new players, new players and old players who've been away. Whoa, been away for a while. Is he coming through? Oh, he is. Look at that. All right, this is new. Used to be that uh, we didn't have all these fancy animations. I don't think we had a crawl animation uh, the way that we just did there back in the day. Uh, not certainly one, not as detailed as that. Um, what a way to start. I already hear another one too. This is a hot start. We're only on the default settings here, apocalypse settings. Um, but this is coming at us fast. So what do we got to do today? This is Wilfredo's first day. So we've got to find Wilfredo some weapons because you can tell these zombies are already here for us. Uh, fishing, oh, fishing line and fishing tackle. We are going to take that. We'll take it one day, but not today because that will be handy. But right now, we have more immediate concerns. Oh, such as food and water. We've just picked up a water bottle in our spawn house. That's great. Water bottle lets you uh, drink without having to always right click on something to drink it, either from a fountain or uh, you might find a pop bottle as well. You cannot uh, auto drink from a pop bottle as long as it has pop. You can only drink uh, water automatically. Um, so, oh, speaking of pop bottles, okay, we're gonna leave that there though. Uh, we're gonna take this rolling pin uh, let's, let's talk about this for a sec. So new players, uh, if you hover over something, of course, it's going to show you what that something is. Here we have 1.5 weight. That is, that's actually pretty weighty for a weapon as poor as this one. You can see its, its condition is very little, very little green. That means it's going to break after a couple swings. And you can see that its damage is also very low. But that's okay because right now it's all we've got. So we're going to roll with it. Um, let's see what else we have here. We have canned food. We picked up a can opener. Uh, can opener is great. As long as you have it, you'll never go hungry. You just got to keep uh, busting into homes, finding new cans of food. Oh, you know what? It's a little bloody, but we're going to wear this jacket. Let's talk about why. When you hover over a jacket, it gives you some information. Bite defense, scratch defense there in the bottom. It says 10 and 25. That's pretty good, especially to start. Now, it is pretty bloody, so let's talk about it. So, let's hold up for a second, do a quick little introduction to the UI here for new players. New players, top left you have all these icons. We'll talk about them as they come, but for now you should be aware of this heart. That is your health, okay? So right now our overall body status is okay. You see that this screen also has your skills, skill summary. So in our last video we talked about how we built uh, Wilfredo here. And uh, we, we built him, well, kind of as a generalist. And that's just the polite way of saying he's he's not good at anything. Not yet, but he will be. So here's your info. This is how many zombies you killed. We killed one with our bare hands, right? Because we stomped it. We'll talk about that, how we did that. Um, you can go to your protection. Zero, zero, zero. This is, we're not wearing a lot of zombie protective gear right now. But we are wearing a jacket. So we see 10% bite defense, 10% scratch defense on the parts of our body that are covered by the jacket. These are rookie numbers, though. We got to pump those numbers up. Uh, because at this rate, we're going to go down in the first bite. And temperature, you know, we want to run through to winter. Temperature will be important then. So that's the top left. Again, we'll, we'll see those again more in another episode. But for now, have a look at your inventory. New players, when you start the game, I think your inventory starts up around here somewhere. First thing I do, I drag it down to the bottom left. It's just less in my way. Uh, you have some options with this thing. Of course, you can press the I on many, many different uh, windows. We'll have this I. That just gives you a little tip how to use the item, or sorry, how to use the UI. Here, I'll show you though, we can click this to expand everything. That's gonna be useful when we have multiple items, multiple can openers, for example. This uh, will let us select one of them. This, however, collapses everything. So if I had six can openers, they'd all be right here, and I can click and drag them onto the ground to drop all six can openers. Of course, we only have one right now, so we'll pick that up. Um, what else? We've got uh, some different sort features. Sort by item type. This will make more sense as we have more items. Sort by category. This will be very handy when you're out looting for food and then you return to your base and you want to put all of your food in the base. Sort it by category and then you can click one, shift click on the rest, drag them into wherever you want and you're good to go. Also if you're standing near uh, an item, sorry, a, uh, a container such as this cupboard, uh, you can 
drag things into that menu to put it there, right? Or you can right click, put in container, okay? Or uh, one thing we have is the surface container. This is whatever local surfaces are around you and you can always drag into that as well. You can drag into the inventory icons. So those are these little container icons on the side of every inventory. We've just dragged the water to our feet and now we're gonna drag that uh, back over to our main inventory. We only have two inventory containers right now. One is our main inventory, it's this box. The other is the keychain. We have the key to this house so we can lock it if we're in a multiplayer server. That might be handy, keep some raiders out maybe, or at least uh, make them know we're not an easy target. But it's just us here today, and it's just gonna be us straight through till winter, I believe. So what do we have to do? We have to loot the rest of the house. We got pretty lucky so far with the water, but our weapon is atrocious. We got all right with the jacket. We're gonna take this pencil. You know what, farming for beginners. Books are heavy, 0.8 is the weight, but I'm gonna take that anyways because farming is nice. Books in this game will give you an XP, XP multiplier. So if I'm reading, for example, okay, we have this little progress bar, but you can also hover over this and you see that the number of pages keeps ticking up and it tells us that it's gonna give us an XP multiplier for the level one to two skill. Uh, that just means that right now, if I press, uh, whoops, if I press H, and I come over to the skills menu here, um, you see, these arrows just popped up, perfect timing. And we hover over this first level, this level we don't have, and it tells us we have a 0.3 multiplier right now. So we're getting 30% more XP on that skill just for having read 38 pages of that book. And that multiplier will keep ticking up as we move through this book. Okay, we won't read the whole book today because it's not the most exhilarating watch, but sometime we will. We certainly will. Oh my gosh, Carpentry for Beginners. I will take that too. I don't usually take this many books, but if you saw the last episode, you know that we took Stout as one of our traits, which means we have some pretty good strength, which improves our carry capacity here, 14. 14 watts though, 14 watts you might say. It's not 14 pounds, it's not 14 kilos. Uh, 14 here is an abstract representation of carrying factors such as weight, as well as the awkwardness or size of the item. So don't try to relate everything to some sort of mass calculation. It's not about mass. It's about how awkward is it to hold the thing or to hold many of the thing. All right, so we got to eat a little bit of food here. We can eat some butter. Okay, but this says plus 20 unhappiness. That's red. That means it's bad. Plus 20 means it's very bad. Don't just eat a stick of butter. Who knew that would be a bad idea? Now this is fresh, fresh, frozen. Uh, we're just going to eat this uh, canned tuna here, open that up. So the thing about some of these cans, you have to open it and then eat it. Okay, so don't forget that. It would be like, why isn't my hunger moodle going away? So our hunger just improved. Oh, we've got someone trying to bust in. We're going to try to improve our hunger a little bit more. And the reason for that is hunger is a debuff on your strength. And your strength is your ability to smash things. So if we want Wilfredo to be smashing some zombies, we gotta make sure our boy is fed. And he is, so let's smash, all right? So here's what we did. I can press E to open that door, or I can right click to open the door. Once I click it, I have two options. I'm holding right click to enter my combat stance, okay? And now I'm not gonna release right click. I'm gonna keep that, but I'm also gonna left click, and that's gonna be my swing. The longer I'm holding right click before I swing, the stronger that swing will be. Okay, so don't forget that, it's very important. But another thing, you can just press spacebar, that'll do a little shove. You actually can press spacebar at any time to shove. You do not need to be in combat mode. But we're gonna go in combat mode here. We already said our rolling pin is soon to break, so we're just gonna try to do, uh, get by without it. We're stout, so we got lucky, we shoved her down. Look at her face. Look at that mouth, that's terrifying. All right. It's, I guess she's got blood all down her face. That or, or she's rocking a red beard, similar to my red hair. I'm not sure. In any case, we're standing on her chest so she can't get up. All right, she's at our mercy. And uh, right now we're not feeling very merciful. So uh, bring your targeting reticle over the face. Space bar to stomp. And you want that foot to try to land on the head for that smooshy, smooshy sound. All right, and this is, this is looking pretty good. We've got a lot of green numbers here. Let's talk about it. Ranger jacket. Condition is perfect. 
bite and scratch defense are both green, which means they're better than what we have now. So we're definitely going to wear that. So this is Ranger Wilfredo now. We don't need that jacket anymore. Actually, you know what? We'll rip it up. Oh, we'll only rip this up. I, You notice I put rip clothing all? That would rip up all the clothing in range, which includes what she's wearing. And I actually want those pants that she's got. So put them on really fast. Let's go. Let's go. All right, we've got it. Let's go, boy. Oh, there's another one coming. So I'm going to turn around. Again, space bar to smash once you're standing over a zombie. If you're not standing over a zombie, space bar is... Oh, put back down. Excuse me, I'm talking. If you're not over a zombie, space bar is shove. All right, so just looking around, we do have some more. Let's see if this works. When I smash a zombie... You hear it makes a sound. Now, sometimes that sound will attract other zombies. Not in this case, though. Alright, it's important to... I, that was bad by me. It's important to be watching your back. If a zombie gets your back... Do you hear that? That little kitty. Meowing in the background. That's Slevin. Slevin saying hi to everyone. Say hi, everyone. Slev, you want to say hello again, buddy? Alright, I don't know if you can hear him, but I, if you can't hear him, I hope you can just sense his innate, innate cuteness, innate adorability. So we're just clearing out the local neighborhood a bit here. Give us some breathing room. Let us get our heads straight. This is our first day in the apocalypse. I'm sure it's quite the experience. You'll notice, too, in the first days of the apocalypse, the first zombies that you find will instill the most panic in you. And the reason is, you've never seen a zombie before. But as you see more of them, unfortunately... This becomes a normalized experience for Wilfredo, or your survivor. And that's going to have the effect of making less panic in the long run. Now, I don't actually know if that is something that occurs over time, naturally, or if it actually matters how many zombies you've seen. So, if you have the answer to that, maybe uh, pop it into the com uh, comments. Let us know what, what reduces your panic over time. Is it time? Or is it number of zombies? We're gonna loot the neighbors. We never liked them anyway. Uh, that's actually probably why they moved. It looks like they cleared out shop because uh, we were just not the best neighbor and they had enough of our crap. I think it looks like they moved out. Oh, no, they hadn't had enough of our crap yet. They're still here. Or they were. Now there's zombies out there somewhere. Lore in this game. If we, uh, if we switch on over to the news here, I think let's uh, let's turn this on. Let's uh, dial up the volume a little bit. An appeal for calm. Okay. So let's talk about device options, and then we'll talk about what's happening right now. Right click, go to device options. Here's your options. Turn it off and on. You can toggle the volume up or down. Don't turn it up too high, or you will have company drawn to it. Uh, if you have a VHS, you can drag it into this slot and hit play to play the the movie. And uh, we have different channels, so you can tune into those different channels just by selecting it and pressing tune in. We're gonna stay here for a sec though. Warning shots fired, no civilians have been harmed. Okay, what's going on? Right now, the infection is spreading. It's spreading through the air. Okay, I don't know if they know it yet, but we know it. We know it now. Why are we infected? We are not infected because we are immune to the airborne version of this virus. However, for some reason, once it gets into a host, the virus then can spread through fluid transmission, and we are not immune to that. So what's happened? They're talking about shots fired. They're trying to maintain a quarantine line. So we are locked down. Um, we're cut off from major cities, and I think if we try to go too far to the north, for example, we'll hit a blockade um, that will not let us through. Um, that said, I don't think we'll actually find NPCs at the blockade because, of course, there are no NPCs in the game yet. But one day I'm sure they'll put them in, and until then, uh, the blockade is there until it does disappear eventually, I think, or it does become passable because there is now a brand new city up there. Good old Louisville, Kentucky, north of Muldrow. Of course, all these names, these are real places, right? Based on real places. Let's talk about what we just picked up, though. Crowbar. Hello. Equip that in both hands. This is a long, blunt weapon. You might remember. I'm going to press I here. Oh, sorry. I'm going to press H here. Go to my skills. And uh, we have long, blunt weapon 2 with an XP boost of 100%. Okay, so long, blunt is the way to play for Wilfredo because 
that skill is going to get a lot better, a lot faster. Then we also have a first aid kit. Now, looking at it, look at the bottom there. There's two little icons. It uh, looks like a suture needle and bandage, but we can't access those right now, right? We can expand it. Look, they're not in there. What we have to do to get into a container like this, right click it and equip it as primary or secondary. We're going to put it on secondary here. Now, because we had a two handed weapon equipped, that weapon is now gone. Weapon is gone, and instead we have a new uh, inventory container along our right hand side. So bandages, suture needles. Um, I'm just going to keep those right where they are. We're going to keep that uh, first aid kit. We're actually going to put these ripped sheets in there as well. And this bandage. And we don't need these shorts anymore. Let's drop them on the floor. And uh, let's see if I hover over first aid kit here. It has a weight reduction of five. Okay, so I believe that just means things weigh 5% less if we put them in there. It's not very great, but you know what? It's, it's something. Right now we don't have any weight reduction. So let's put those in there and uh, let's get that crowbar back out. Now, because the first aid kit is no longer equipped, it is no longer giving me that weight reduction. So everything in there is, is worth maximum weight. Okay, but that's fine. I'm just using that uh, kit to uh, organize our inventory right now. Gonna eat some food out of the neighbor's fridge here. Oh, well, we you know what? We should probably uh, refill our water bottle. Yep, three out of ten. It's almost empty. Okay, that's good. And we are tired, so let's just sleep in the neighbor's bed. Why not? That sounds like a good time. It's the apocalypse. You can do what you want. You know what? I think their house is a little bigger than mine anyway. Live it up while we can. Before, though, I would be remiss to not tell you this. Uh, let's tune into Life and Living TV. This is something you're going to want in the early game. Uh, just by watching this, you are going to gain skills. He's talking about Kitchen Knife right now. Now, sometimes they'll, they'll give you a clue as to what you're actually watching. You can gain, I think, uh, cooking skill. You can gain carpentry. However, maybe I've got the TV a little high because we got someone walking around out there. Okay, so I'm just clicking on the uh, top here of the curtains to open and close them. I can also right click and go open curtains. But uh, you know what? I don't want anyone smashing up my nice new place here. So I'm actually going to close up, go outside, smash them, come back, and I think we will uh, we'll be done with our second video into Wilf Wilfredo's life. Now it, it's dark. If we did not have cats, uh, what is it, cat's eyes, it would be very, very dark. But we have cat's eyes, and you might sometimes also find that some nights are brighter than others. And that's because there is a moon cycle in this game. So the moon goes through phases, just like in life, sometimes you get a full moon. However, there is also weather including cloud cover, and sometimes that will block out your delight. <laughs> All right, so we're engaging in a little bit of risky business. We're tired. We should not usually fight when we're tired because it reduces our perception. And so that can make a zombie get a lucky back attack on you. It's lucky because I believe you're more likely to get a more severe injury if they land a back attack against you. All right, so speaking of back attacks, I'm very, yeah, there's a few zombies around. I'm losing my sight on him. I'm gonna try to stay standing on this one. And that's just because she can't get up while I'm standing on her. Keeps things manageable. Alright, give this one a little push. She goes down. That's lucky. I was just trying to get distance, but if he falls, even better. Now we hear that. Alright, he's down too. Let's us finish what we're doing. Gonna... Oh. Oh. Alright. We're gonna try to get on this guy. Yep. Yeah. No. He's too fast for me. Alright. Once they begin that getting up animation, uh, they are... You can't just hold them down anymore by standing on them. Okay, he's down. She will soon go down. There we go. Alright. Sweet dreams, princess. It is bedtime now. Unfortunately, we have some panic. Of course. Which uh, sometimes can prevent you from going to sleep. And uh, honestly, who can blame him? But what we're going to do, we're just going to wash up and uh, turn this off. Now, had we been watching the TV for longer, it looks like the channel has shut off for the night. 
so we can turn off this TV. But had we been watching longer, we can gain carpentry skills, we can gain cooking skills, and other skills from that channel, Life and Living TV. So it does pay to watch TV in this game, especially at the start. It's pretty dark up here. All right, what can we do about that? We see a light switch here. Uh, you can right click it and turn it on, or you can just uh, left click on it, do the same thing. And we're just going to look for the uh, for the bathroom, give ourselves a little wash. Again, I'm just pressing E to open those doors, open and close. Uh, fill with the water bottle, sure. We're gonna see if we have some soap in here. Oh, look at that, we do. Oh, and we've gotta get this. Now we do not need another first aid kit, but we do need those alcohol wipes. If we get injured, it is important to uh, sanitize those injuries. So for now, though, we're going to take that soap. I think that'll let us wash up faster, wash ourselves faster. And just to prove the point here, I'm going to keep this on. When that progress bar fills, I think we will see the soap. Yeah, soap disappeared. We used it all up. That's fine, though. Um, we're going to do the slow wash on all of our clothes. Although this seems to be going pretty fast. I guess they're not as bloody as they look, some of them. And we're just going to call it here. So if you want to know some more specific questions about what you saw here today, let us know in the comments. I'll either address them there and or try to hit them in another video. We're just doing a run through till winter. I think of that as the end game. Uh, and right now it is. There's not a lot in the game that changes after winter. Um, but there's lots of developments coming. We'll talk about those in future videos. And uh, for now, if you like what I'm doing, hit the like button. If you want me to keep, stop, or start doing some things here, let us know in the comments. If you want to see Will, where uh, Wilfredo's story is going here, hit the subscribe button. And uh, we will see you next time, where we get up to some more misadventures. Uh, we're going to start thinking about base building, getting some good items going, and uh, see what the new day brings our way. Till then, good luck in the end times for survivors. See you next time.